In an exclusive interview marking the 30th anniversary of the invasion, the governor of the Falklands, Nigel Haywood, has told Forces News that key countries like Brazil, Chile and Uruguay should park the question of their solidarity, as Argentina's neighbours each has expressed support for its continuing claim over the territory. From Stanley, Jeff Mead reports. Plumes flying in the breeze, His Excellency attends a parade marking the call to arms of local volunteers 30 years ago. He accepts his £8,000 ornate garb might appear he runs an outpost of empire, but these days the Falklands is more prosperous than the mother country and makes its own decisions. And I know um, it sounds odd sitting, me, sitting in this uniform to say it's not a colony anymore, but, but it really isn't. I mean, I have a very ceremonial role and wear the uniform to match. The, the islands are self-governing and they've improved, they've developed so much. The economy's just just grown out of all proportion with um, fishing and uh, tourism and so on that, that's made it a very different place. So it's a huge success. And I guess that must be irksome to, to, to people looking across the water. Official duties on this anniversary involve informally meeting veterans, including former task force members who've made their homes in this low-tax, economically successful place. He assures them the UK will continue to guarantee their freedom, the islands paying only the cost of their small volunteer contingent and fishery protection. For the rest, the UK picks up the bill. Britain is responsible for the defence of its overseas territories and takes that responsibility very seriously. And it's not a case of Falklands being rich, Tristan da Cunha being poor, whatever. You need that defence and that's something that, that, um, that the Prime Minister, Foreign Secretary, Defence Secretary are absolutely committed to. Memories of invasion are strong this week. Few expect again to have to shelter from bombardment. Nor, says the governor, will Argentine bluster be allowed to hinder Britain's trade. It's very important we work with South America, are actually saying, well, look, let's just park those differences to one side and let's get on with life. For our man in Stanley, the pomp is merely superficial. The real work's political, convincing the neighbours to accept that despite appearances, the world has changed. Jeff Mead forces news the South Atlantic.